Hello and welcome to this edition of ABC 13 Weather You. I'm Chief Meteorologist Travis Herzog, and today we're going to be learning about the three main types of cold fronts that visit us here in Southeast Texas. The first is the Pacific cold front. These come from the Pacific Ocean or from the West. They usually bring us cool mornings and mild afternoons, sometimes accompanied by a thin band of showers and thunderstorms that occasionally can turn severe. But they're known mainly for the dry air that they blow in. So we get these chilly mornings, then it really warms up 30 or so degrees in the afternoon and you need to dress in layers to shed them by the time that we get to like three o'clock. Now, then there's the Canadian cold front that comes from, you guessed it, Canada. It taps into the colder air on the country to our north. These bring us cold mornings and cool afternoons, more sweater weather type front, and often will bring rain and is usually responsible for most of the light freezes that we get in a given winter. And occasionally, if the conditions are just right, it can even bring us snow. Then there's the kind of front that we oftentimes don't want to visit us. It's the Arctic cold front. And an extreme example of that is the great winter storm of February 2021. This is air that comes from north of the Arctic Circle. And sometimes in those extreme cases, we get the air from Siberia coming across the North Pole into North America. And that's exactly what happened in February of 2021. So these are classified based on their source region. So let's bring out the weather globe to kind of show you what we're talking about and where each of these fronts originates. First, you have the Pacific front. These come from the Pacific Ocean. They have a lot of moisture when they hit the West Coast. In fact, these are the fronts that bring places like California the majority of the rain and snow in a given year. But by the time they cross the mountains, all that moisture gets squeezed out. And so we're usually left with a bunch of dry air. If there's enough Gulf moisture present, then we can get that thin band of showers and thunderstorms. But again, because it comes from the West over the ocean, instead of the colder continent, it's usually not the chilliest kind of front we ever get. And they're most common in the late spring through the early fall. Then we have the Canadian cold front, and that's responsible for most of the cold weather we get in a given winter. Because it comes from Canada, where there's often a thick snowpack, it brings in some chilly air, and occasionally we'll get a light freeze out of it. And if conditions are just right, if we have another disturbance come from the Pacific over the top of it, it can oftentimes, when that happens, lead to some wintry precipitation. Then there's the granddaddy of of all cold fronts. It's the Arctic cold front. And sometimes this will come all the way from Siberia. We don't always get these every winter and every 30 years or so we get the extreme case like the February 2021 great winter storm. These bring brutally cold conditions, hard freezes that can cause pipes to burst and can lead to extreme freezing conditions that lead to ice and snow that can last for a few days on end. So sometimes it's fun to get that occasional snow, but these are the kinds of fronts we often don't want to see in the wintertime because of the potential for disruptions to life and damage to property like we saw back in February 2021. So those are the three main kinds of cold fronts that we get in a given winter. We never know exactly what a winter is going to bring us, so we always have to pay attention to the weather forecast to see what kind of front is coming our way. If you have any suggestions for future ABC 13 Weather You topics, just fill out the form on our webpage, ABC 13 13.com slash weather you. Thanks for watching. I'm Chief Meteorologist Travis Herzog.